there's like a fine line between love and hate. Because the only reason he ended up hating his brother is because he loved him and he did that to him. So now I hate you for it. I can't believe I trusted you. I can't believe I looked up to you. I can't believe you're my idol, all this and that. And you did this. Now I hate you. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Jay's Perspective. And today I want to talk to you guys about what the difference is between love and hate. So for this video, it's generally a question I have for you guys as well, because I question it myself. But I'll talk about my opinion on it in a little bit. And you guys can tell me in the comment section below what's your opinion on it. So love and hate, to me, they, they're, it's weird. They're very similar but at the same time, they're very different. So there's scenarios in which love and hate are almost like the same thing to me, right? And then there's other scenarios where it's like, okay, I can see the extreme opposites. So one similarity I'll say that there is between love and hate is they're both extreme, like extreme forms of emotion, right? The only difference is it's on one side of the fence. So if you love somebody, it's an extremely good emotion it's supposed to be. If you hate somebody, it's an extremely bad emotion it's supposed to be. Now, in some cases, or maybe even a lot of cases, love can turn into hate, or hate can turn into love, possibly. But more so, I think love to hate. I'm not sure how many times hate can turn into love, but they could literally mold into the other. And that's because you can have that extreme emotion for one person and you know you ever heard of like a transference of energy transferring energy um i think like in science they say energy is not not created nor destroyed but it's merely transferred from one object to another whatever it's like that if you transfer this feeling of love into this feeling of hate right it's still an extreme like i said they're both extreme emotions but you transferred that extreme emotion on one side and turned it to an extreme on the other. Um, I think if you already hated somebody or if you already love somebody, I'm not sure if you could just transfer it to be on the middle ground about them. I think you do transfer it from one extreme to the other extreme. I think it's always going to be one or the other for the most part. So the similarity that I see between love and hate that I think makes them alike is Say you love somebody, right? You love them their your whole life or you trust them. Maybe not your whole life, but you really trust them deeply. You know, you care for them deeply, things of that nature, right? You love this person extremely. There are things in a lot of scenarios in which that person could then lead you into hating them. So, um, an example... Say you, you love a parent of yours or a friend, whatever the case may be, and you have this great relationship. Now, one thing that you have with people that you love generally is trust. You might have a lot of trust for somebody that you love, right? Now, if you love somebody strongly and you think this person would do this for me, they do that for me, they take a bullet for me, they do all of that, right? And then one day they show to you that they're not who you thought they were. They don't take the bullet for you as you thought they would. They don't do the things that you thought they would do for you. And they actually do something to betray you. Imagine that person you love deeply betrayed you. Now, it's going to sting a lot. And then that could make it transfer. That could be that transference of energy to now you hate this person. They betrayed you. I thought that you would do this for me. I thought you would do that for me. I thought you would stand up for me. You know what I'm saying? You did the opposite. You attacked me. And it's it's worse to you because you're like, you of all people, I would have never expected this from. I would have never expected it from anybody but you. So think about it like this. There's a lot of people in life that will do bad things to you because they do not care for you. They don't care about you, whatever the case may be. You didn't expect them to do good things for you, though. Say you didn't expect them to do bad, but you didn't expect them to do good. So when they do the bad thing, you're not that surprised. You're not that shocked. You might not even end up hating that person because you had no opinion of them prior, right? But if somebody does something to you that you loved and that you thought loved you, you'll feel a certain type of way towards that person. So... 
Imagine somebody in your family, God forbid, was murdered. If a person that you did not know murdered somebody that you loved, right? It would hurt and you would you would feel like that pain of the loss of the person, right? That that died. But it would hurt much worse if you found out the killer was somebody that you cared about. Imagine that. The killer being somebody that you cared about. Now, I'm going to make a, a anime reference. That, um, all the people that watch my videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know the anime I'm talking about when I mention this. If you don't, whatever, just think of the scenario. There's a scenario where this guy in an anime, he loves his big brother, and he looks up to his big brother all the time. Like, he wants to be just like his big brother. Like, literally. That is his idol. And then... One day, he comes home from school to find out that his big brother has murdered their entire family. He's heartbroken, and he grows up to hate his brother. His brother leaves him alive. He grows up to hate his brother, and he spends the rest of his life exacting the vengeance on his brother. He wants to get revenge. He hates his brother now. And I tell you, he loved his brother extremely when he was a little kid. After he killed their entire family, especially to know that it wasn't just a random person that did it, but you, my brother, the person I look up to, my idol, I loved you, and you did this to us, you did this to our mom, our dad, our cousins, everything, that hit him deeply, and he literally spent his the rest of his life, his whole existence, was about killing his brother, was about getting revenge on his brother. Now, if you watch anime, you know exactly what anime I'm talking about. If you don't, don't even worry about that, but... That's an extreme scenario. Would you not, if you were put in his situation, would you not then hate your brother too? I loved you, but you did this to our family. You betrayed us. You you broke my trust. Would you not feel that way too? Would you not transfer that love into hate? So I feel like love and hate are similar in ways that it, it's a transference of energy. And I feel like only certain people can hurt you a certain amount. I don't think somebody that you don't know or that you don't care about can hurt you that much as in comparison to somebody that you do trust, that you do love and all this other stuff. If they do something bad to you, it's going to hurt a million times worse than if a random stranger did something bad to you. And it's going to hurt a million times worse because you love that person, because you trusted them. So now they tra you transfer love to hate. So that's where I think there's like a fine line between love and hate because the only reason... He ended up hating his brother is because he loved him and he did that to him. So now I hate you for it. I can't believe I trusted you. I can't believe I looked up to you. I can't believe you're my idol, all this and that. And you did this. Now I hate you. So that's where I think, okay, love and hate are really similar in the transference of energy. Now, here's where I think love and hate are probably different. You... You will be hurt more by people that you care about because it'll just affect you more because you care more about the opinions of people that you care about. But that's not to say that a person that you don't care about cannot hate you. I just think, I mean, cannot make you hate them. I just think that a person that you love, will that will affect you way more. But if a person you don't care about, you don't know, say, kills your family, Right. It's not it's not going to hit the same as if your brother kills the family because you didn't trust them. You didn't you know, you had no feeling towards them or nothing like that. But you probably still have a deep hatred for them. Now, I don't think the hatred would be as deep, maybe. Or maybe we could discuss in the comment section below. Are there different levels to hatred? Because do you think that it will be the same level of hatred if it was my brother that killed them? Or if it was a random person that killed them, you think it would be the same level of hatred? Would you hate the random person that did it as opposed to the brother that did it, right? But there could be a person that you were not close with, you didn't know your entire life, that has done stuff to you over the course of your life, right? Maybe you had a bully in school that was just picking on you all the time, 24-7. You're like, you have no idea why. So regardless, now you grow up to hate that person because all you did was bad to me. All you brought me was bad feelings, bad emotion, pain, all this and that. I hate you for it. So in that sense, yeah, you can hate somebody that you never loved in the first place. In that sense, it's not a transference of energy. 
I'm not too sure in how many scenarios, how I stated in the beginning, in which hate can be transferred into love. I don't know. If a bully was bullying you the whole time growing up, like, could there be a moment that y'all have in which you find out why they were bullying you is because they had a bad home life and they were just projecting onto you and maybe they confide in you and then y'all become best friends down the line because you understand their pain and this and that and then it turns into love. I don't know. Is that possible? Like, that's a real question for me. I'm not sure if hate can be transferred to love. I more so believe that love can be transferred to hate or that you can just grow to hate somebody for all the bad things that they have done to you over the years for constantly causing you pain. And you may, might not even know why they constantly cause it to you, but you hate them for all the bad crap that they do to you. So those are the two scenarios in which I think love and hate exist. That's the similarity. Like I said, the transference from love to hate, the difference, I think, that you could just straight up just hate somebody without having loved them before just because they've just been terrible to you. But tell me in the comment section below, do you think hate can be transferred into love? That's something that I would like to know. But guys, just remember, this is just Jay's perspective. Everything that I say is just what I think. It's just what I do. You don't got to follow it. You do you. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one.